Good afternoon, graduate students. My name is Mary Witten Calkins, but you can call me Mary for short. I was born on March 30th, 1863 in Hartford, Connecticut. I grew up primarily on the East Coast, starting in Buffalo, New York, and then moving to Newton, Massachusetts. Education was a strong and important virtue in my family. My parents had avidly encouraged me to attend college from an early age. In 1885, I began classes at Smith College. After graduating, I was able to take a trip to Europe with my family. While in Europe, I briefly attended University of Litzpin, but didn't receive any degrees there. When I returned to the States, I was offered a position as a faculty member at Wesley College, which is an all-women's university in Massachusetts. Once, when I was there, I established one of the first experimental laboratories in the country that introduced psycholo scientific psychology into the university's curriculum. In the lab, we were able to dissect sheep brains in order to conduct studies on sensation, association, attention, and memory. There I noticed my there, I was also noticed for my advanced teaching style and offered a higher position as a psychology professor. However, in order to be qualified for this position, I had to begin taking classes in the subject. I began attending the lectures of accredited psychologists such as William James and Hugo Munzenberg, amongst any others. These lectures were taking place at Harvard University. Since I was doing so well in these lectures, I received some encouragement from my professors to enroll at Harvard. However, the, pro the president of the university held very strong beliefs that the genders should be educated separately. My father and professors had to petition for me to get in, and even when I was, I still faced a lot of discrimination. Some male students even dropped out of my classes in protest. I still completed all my coursework to attain a PhD, but when at the time came to receive it, I was denied simply because I was a woman. Harvard School for Women, Radcliffe, however, offered me a degree, but I declined this gesture because it simply did not accurately depict my work at Harvard. I contributed work to both psychology and philosophy. My psychology ideas mainly focused on emotion, dreams, and time conscientiousness. My theory of self-psychology contradicted some of the many modern-day behavioralists. I believe that the conscious self was the central theme in psychology. I spent a lot of time and effort trying to define the self, but realized it simply cannot be done. Each self is a unique being in the sense that I am I, and you are you. I devoted a lot of time studying memory, and while working in Hugo Munster's lab, Munstenberg's lab, I was able to develop a pair-associated technique. This technique was used to test memory. I used numbers and colors in order to see how people recalled them. I concluded that Numbers presented in a bright color were better recalled than those presented in a neutral color. I was also able to publish over 100 papers and have been published in many professional journals. Some of my more famous work include The Persistent Problems in Philosophy, published in 1907, and The Good Man and the Good in 18, 1918. From the work of establishing the first experimental lab in the country, my work in Hugo Munster's lab, and the many publications I was able to receive, I won the first, I was able to become the first female president of the APA. I felt that that was a good kick in the face to the Harvard guys who didn't even want me to be in their classes. I returned to Wesley to teach where I remained until my retirement 40 years later. I passed away from cancer in 19. 19, 1929, but I left the legacy of being the first female president of APA. I did face a lot of adver a lot of obstacles in my career, but I overcame them and I succeeded greatly. I want to leave a legacy of encouraging women to not only pursue but to conquer their field. I believe that women can devote so much more to this field, and their influence is very very important to this the field of psychology. I hope that my story has a little bit has been encouraging to you and don't give up even when everyone's telling you to. Have a good day guys. Thank you. Bye.